Hi everyone, I'm Mohenya Doc. In this video, I'm going to discuss about code source, also known as habis labialis. What are code source? Code source are small, free filled bristles that forms around your lip and the skin between your lip and the, and the face. Code source affect 23 million people per year worldwide. What are the signs and symptoms of cold sores? Signs and symptoms of cold sores occur in different stages as a cold sore occur in, in several stages. One, you experience uh, burning, tingling and uh, itching sensation around your lip or around between the, the lip and, uh, and the skin of your face. Uh, number two, from 12 to 24 hours, you will uh, have a, a small, hard, painful spot ar ar around the same same place. This will also form a, a brister. Bristers will appear as a small, tiny fluid-filled fluid -filled, uh, bristers, which are many. Uh, number three, after... Two to three days, these uh, these bristles will uh, match and uh, form one uh, brister which will then uh, burst and uh, break out. After it break out, uh, number four, uh, a scab will form. This scab will form after several days. Number five. Uh, this scab will fall off. The scab will uh, appear as a, a dry crust over the cold sole. What are the causes of uh, cold sores? Cold sores are caused by happy secrets virus. Happy secrets virus appear in two forms. There is a happy secrets type 1 and there is happy secrets type 2. Happy secrets type 1 Usually causes infections around the mouth and the and the lip. Happy secrets type two usually affect your genital or usually result to a disease we call genital genital herpes. How is a happy secrets virus transmitted? Happy secrets virus is transmitted through cross contact with an infected person. This we can occur as one kissing. When you kiss a, a person who is infected with happy secrets, this one can result to having a happy secrets infection or a cold sore. Number two, sharing of uh, utensils. This usually affect people like uh, people who who take uh, or drink uh, cake, cake beer. They usually have a, a lot of uh, happy secret uh, infections as a cold source. Number three, sharing uh, lip balm. Number four, sharing towels. Number five, having oral sets. When a person who is infected with uh, cold sores have uh, oral sets with you, they can transmit this uh, virus to your, to your genitals and this will result to genital genital herpes. People who do not have uh, cold sores can also have a uh, happy secret infection and transmit it. So it's not a must for someone to have a uh, cold sores so as to transmit the happy secret infection. After you get a uh, happy secret infection like a cold sore, what happens is that uh, the virus does not disappear from your body. What the virus does, it, it moves to your nerves, to your nerve cells where it, it hides or sleep, sleep for a period of, a period of uh, weeks to years to, to a longer period. Then it, these virus can uh, reactivate again and cause uh, a cold so around the same, same, uh, same spot it, it caused before. This is what we call reactivation. Reactivation can be triggered by 
factors like one, if you have a high fevers, this uh, high fevers can reactivate the herpes simplex infection and cause another cold sore. Number two, exposure to sunlight and wind, this can also reactivate the herpes simplex infection. Number three, menstruation. During menstruation, there are hormonal changes. These hormonal changes can reactivate the, the happy infection and make you have another cold sore. Uh, number five, we have immunosuppression. Immunosuppression is where by your immune system become weak. Your immune system can become weak in case you have a viral infection like HIV. You have a disease like diabetes. You are, you are taking medications which we call corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are drugs that uh, reduce swelling and also they are used in treatment of asthma and allergies. And uh, last, in case you have um, severe emotional stress, stress can uh, also reactivate this uh, herpes virus and make you have a, a cortisol. Now, uh, herpes separates in infection or virus can uh, can also manifest in in as uh, as other other diseases. These diseases include hepatic uh, pharyngotonsitis. This is infection of uh, pharyngitis or the throat and also the the tonsils. Number two, you can have uh, uh, hepatic stomatitis. This is an infection of the gums and uh, and the, the mucous membrane around the mouth. This usually occur mostly in children between six months to five years. You find a child has uh, blisters around the, the lip, the gums, and around the, the the tongue area. This will will be will be mostly due to the happy separate in infection. And also, happy separates can also occur as a hepatic quid pro. This is a happy virus infection of the of the of the fingers. And uh, last, happy separates infection can occur as a happy gradiosome. This is an infection of the happy virus when it infects the the face, the neck, and uh, the arms and the upper body. This usually affect restaurants or people who participate in sports, which are, which are involve a lot of contact, personal contact. And uh, we have also said that uh, herpes type two can affect the genital area. Type one can also result to formation of. Uh, Bristers around the genital area for when for, for those people with who are practicing oral sex. Happy secret infection is can be treated one. It is uh, self-limiting. Self-limiting means that if you it can it can it can heal itself without any treatment from uh, a period of two weeks to four weeks. There are also other medications, some which are topical and others which are taken orally that can uh, avoid you having this uh, cold sore for, for that long period of time. Complications of uh, happy uh, secrets. This disease is uh, very severe in patients who are who are uh, immunocompromised immuno, or immunosuppressed. Immunosuppressed, we have said, is those patients who have a very weak immune system, like uh, patients who have HIV, patients who are taking corticosteroid drugs, and patients who are not uh, having uh, uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. How do you prevent yourself from cold sores? One, avoid uh, kissing someone who has cold sores. Number two, avoid sharing sharing utensils. Number three, always keep your hands clean. And uh, number four, you can uh, avoid sharing uh, lip balms. Amohenya the Doc, this is the channel where we simplify medical information. 
make sure you subscribe. Thank you.